Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Specific Talks. Today I have my sisters with me. Say hi. Hi. What's Ew, your- well, we sound alike. <laughs> What's your guys' names? I'm Sharon. I'm Leoni. And today is a special episode because it's a... We're not going to do it anymore. <laughs> I don't want to do it anymore. She pissed me off. She did it wrong. <laughs> okay, go. Three. She's so manly. <laughs> you have to say sister edition. Oh, okay. Get yeah, ready. Three, two, one. Sister, sister edition. <laughs> Yo, I do sound like a dude. <laughs> okay, yeah, it's a sister edition because if you guys seen my cousins on these podcasts, you guys seen my brother, and it's time for my sisters to shine, so yeah so what is what is there's four of us total you guys know there's curtis so what is your guys's roles explain the order of age with us it's the siblings um so i'm sharon i'm the oldest i'm the eldest of four you already know me i'm leoni i'm the second oldest i'm the black sheep of the family why she gotta go into detail like that because you said eldest because she's hurt that's why anyways move on and then you guys know curtis he's after this one then i'm the youngest yeah sorry i'm out of breath it's because we watched the new little mermaid (laughs) i definitely recommend you guys need to go watch it that movie you know, I swear to God, if I don't, if I go watch it tomorrow and it's not all that, I'm gonna beat the crap out of you guys. It is so good, ha- Halle Bailey. She Halle fucking- Berry. Halle Bailey. Got no one. Anyways, <laughs> that movie is just so good. But we're not gonna spoil it because it like came out last week. So I'm gonna spoil it because it's good as hell, and I don't give a shit about you guys. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Can you crop that out? <laughs> <laughs> How you about to say that? <laughs> Anyways, move on. Okay. Mm. Let's on let's dive into the questions. So, I showed y'all recently. I just showed y'all the TikTok. I sh- I posted it on. I shared it to our group chat. Mm-hmm. The one with um, Jeannie Mai. Ex- like they're doing the AAPI Heritage Month thing that they're doing on like I don't know live TV or was it a Facebook live? I don't know. But her and a fellow someone I don't really know his name. They're talking about you know like use like stream this get it out like get this live stream out there like use hashtags you know and then the dude was just like use hashtag aapi heritage month or something but you know genie Mai, she says shit like no one's gonna remember that it's too long just make it asian heritage month definitely like ex- completely excluding the pi part of aapi what is your guys views on that you go um <clears throat> what's my view about it yeah because you you love her now you watch her i i love her because she's on a talk show that i love watching it's called the real with adrian bylon uh lana uh, lonnie Tam- lonnie um tamara mori it's tamara mori well and it was um one of the tamar, facts tamar back she's not tamar. anymore but she's not yeah. there anymore yeah. i love that so i kind of love the talk show because you know they keep it real right. but after that little clip that you showed me mm, okay that's of, how you really feel about that's why i kind of like you know that talk show it's everything that's like you know not everything but they kind of always forget about us pacific islanders why just because we're too small on the map and in the world we are the paradise of the world so come at us (laughs) we'll be humble as yeah ever i don't care you don't care Oh my gosh! Like what the off. the talk, the TikTok girl said, like Pacific Islands, they don't really care. We're always forgotten. Yeah. Like who gives a shit? But yeah, we're always forgotten. But but that's kind of sad when you think about it. Yeah, but it's like, like it's not sad the that whole... we're it's sad that we're they're like used to being yeah, forgotten. That's true. Mm-hmm. That's true. You just got up for me. I'm sorry. 
But it's true. Like me, I didn't really care because we're only only America, like not even America, like the whole world knows us as like what they always say. Oh my gosh, you're related to The Rock, or they say Maui, Moana. That's only how they're gonna view Islanders. <laughs> And well, I think because Islanders, they're so, like, private sometimes. Like, yeah, we're very, we don't, we can joke with, like, me, if I, when I know that we can joke with other Islanders, but when it comes to Americans, we take it, like, Not just Americans, insult. like, any other race. Yeah, we just take it as an insult. We have to pull, put our fake face on. Like, because we don't want to be known as, oh, because apparently back then we were known to be, like, really violent because we're big. Or like we didn't know anything because we're we live in huts. Yeah, basically. And then another thing is like Islanders, they're very not. I don't want to say stingy, but they're very. They don't. What's theirs is theirs. Yeah. They don't want to show it off because culture is like the number one. Like that is in every island, whatever it. That's like the number one. Like culture, family. If we adopt you and we consider you as family, oh, Florida, you better be the luckiest person on earth because we will. You jump, I jump. Prayer. No, good. I sit down, not jumping with you. <laughs> you can give some. You yeah, jump about yourself. <laughs> okay. Next. That was good. Okay, Next. speaking about, um, you know, the Pacific Islanders, what you guys said were very, like, private you can say we're very like conservative in a way mm -hmm. we're very old school and i've said that a lot before and today is what's today's date june 4th and june the month of june is my month you guys say it say it hurry up it's pride pride month, month. <laughs> say it to me not to them oh uh, it's, it's Pride, Pride month. month. No. <laughs> <laughs> See, happy Pride Month to oh, you. Happy, happy Pride, Pride month. month. Thank you, girls. Thank you so much. And you know, <laughs> it's <laughs> we still killed it, gay five. <laughs> okay. Anyways, as I said, you know, they're very conservative Pacific Islanders. What do you guys what is the PI's views on the LGBTQ plus? Some of them, they don't care. Like, they're just gonna, like, okay, yeah, you're gay. Do what you want to do. But, like, generally, in my opinion, because my husband, he has... He has girly guy friends. He doesn't want to admit it. But he has gay friends. Because <laughs> they, don't, they don't come out as that they're gay. They're just gay <laughs> they're just very girly yeah you know what i mean and gay. they're like some of them are comfortable at the point like they get way too comfortable so that's why i say they don't care oh my god after this podcast i want to ask you who oh. <laughs> i'm not gonna i'm not gonna say it i'll, I'll cut it out <laughs> no i'm not gonna say it let's yeah, just don't say it yeah say um, i want to see you know. why they're probably related to you Anyways. i know but like what to me gay marconese and fob man like I can't tell. But see, like, that's they're fobs. They just said that they're probably. Did you know that they just do that because they're bored? If they're fobs? Yeah. Yeah. Fob if men they are have very not met any lady out here yet, they'll just go around dude. and fuck a dude. Yeah. And they just. They laugh about it, but they don't, like, they don't bring it up. Right, exactly. They're very much like a whole as a whole. Yeah. You know what I mean? But they don't, like, to them. But if they, it's not but something if, like, that they, they would show up, up. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Like, if they won't, like... Because they'll find out, and they'll laugh about it, but they won't bring it up. Yeah. As in, if it was a girl, they'll just be like, yeah, I yeah, just I fucked, fucked her. her and all that shit. Can we cuss in this podcast? Yeah. Oh, oh, my God. I'm over here, like, oh, my God, I'm going to get freaking canceled, <laughs> but... I'm going to cuss my ass out. <laughs> <laughs> just like, But, yeah. I think the Pacific Islanders, they don't care as long it's not if it's not They're involved with them that, yeah yeah period done yeah. next what's yours oh shit uh what's my view or the I pi's view? The we can PI. do what's the pi's view <clears throat> um what's the pi's view yeah like she said i don't think a lot of not i don't want to say a lot but i don't think a number of them really cares because 
in the just in this generation everybody's so open and right. so you know we rather take that over suicidal right. um but then in my opinion or my point of view i kind of say it it's by generation right. well not what yeah g- generation well because like, like in her generation yeah it was like like it was hot. T- like you have to hide it yeah we have like not we i'm not gay but um <laughs> you're kind of offended you're kind of no me. like uh, anyways like uh like in my gener, like growing up like if you were gay you were like basically like made fun of yeah or it's kind of like another like another thing to bully about bully yeah. somebody about even if you're like overweight and stuff like that and then like in this generation like these, these little kids, kids don't give a shit they don't give they a gay fuck. they suck dick they look like vagina. if you're gonna be like oh uh that was gay what's wrong with being gay right like you can't like it used to be I a joke say that. <laughs> and then it's like oh my god she's so fat like bitch what so you know it's, you should care about being fat though i don't <laughs> really care <laughs> <laughs> but yeah That's- but yeah the thing about when it comes to the pacific pacific islanders views on lgbt i think it's just i don't know they confuse me because you know like they really don't care but then i don't know i feel like they just talk shit about like us which it kind of like hurts my feelings a little bit because you know growing up that was the only thing i heard like are you a girl why are you talking like a girl why you act like a girl and also and especially now that I'm, like i'm of age and i still act the same like i'm still really girly and do you know you have those um family members that be coming up to me they'll be like if i was talking to a guy they'd be like come eh, walky or like if i go to the bathroom with someone or i'm walking with someone they'd be like they look at me they're like hey can i yell and they just start laughing. Who start? Who does that? Who does that? Uh, I'm not saying a specific someone, but oh, like you know, they, they do that a specific someone because you can't just you can't take say that. that all my uncles, your uncles, what uncles. Un- uncles? Which like, ones? There's a lot of them. It's and it's sometimes they're just really weird. Like they know that I am, and they try. Like I'm not gonna. I don't know if I want to put this in, but like, mm-hmm. oh, like he was he gave me he was kind of weird because i think this was after my graduation he came to betik di stakal right and what's the thing called he came in my room and he opened it and mom and dad were outside and he said like out loud he was like how come it smells like a boy's been in here and at that time i didn't come out yet or at no. least to him mm-hmm. and i was like what are you talking about and he was like your room should smell like a girl why does it smell like a like a dude's been in here and then i'm over there like oh, am i not a dude like i i smell like a dude the fuck and like it doesn't matter if i'm gay or if i'm girly i'm i, I fucking have a stink of a man you know what mm-hmm. i mean and you know, i don't like that shit's kind of annoying so and and like the whole situation with some of these Marcanesian men that are like, because some of them that I know that come out, they're not like, because I came out when I was like, what, 18, 17? But some of the other men, they came out when they're like, what, 30, mm. 20? Married with kids. And married with kids and their kids, like, their, their kids are teenagers and then they come out. That's the thing that I'm very confused about. I feel like they don't care. Yeah, what they said. If they don't care, but I just, I, just, I think. Okay, I'm gonna say. I think that PIs think of the LGBTQ as like a for entertainment. You know what I mean? Well, that's why I said it's like by genera- generation. You know. But like that's because still a thing. Like, we, well, t- till now, like if you look at it and th- like, let's say our parents, they have a friend of their age and they came they just came out and they're gay you know they're gonna make it a big deal they're not gonna want to invite them anywhere you know but if it was like somebody like your age or around our age we'll just be like yo that's that's fine like just come around or like invite them but like with the older, older generation, generation they'll be like don't go here or don't or like if their kid is acting in a certain way that's similar to the per- their friend of age right. You better not grow up and be like this person. 
like islanders are very very judgmental and that's the thing that that's what like it not it i'm not gonna be racist but anyways islanders will always be judgmental and they will Judge like mentally physically emotionally break you the fuck down right and i just think that's why like um us islander kids are just kind of like when, when you say we're built for it like you can say some shit and we'll be like fuck it like the old gina my genie my thing yeah like we're all just like fuck yeah. it but anyways move on like we're it's because like we're i think islanders just like to be happy like yeah. they don't like like complicated situations like when it comes to the like that's what i say like when it comes to the gay community islanders they don't care all right they don't care because they're just like he's still a person or yeah. she's still a person like you know yeah like you know that phrase where they says um small rivers fill no, an ocean i'm not a nerd <laughs> wait what is it small rivers, small fills. rivers big waves fills. <laughs> <laughs> oh uh, small rivers fill oceans meaning like you know like the older gen- generation has that mentality mm-hmm. and then as we're growing up you know and then we're kind of teaching the older generation and the o- older generation is kind of like adapting to it oh i have a good question it's not on here but like <laughs> how did you guys know that you know i was gay and stuff we treated you like a girl when you were born uh we raised you we knew you were gonna be gay before you knew you were gonna be gay <laughs> but we used we to would put have your hair in practice a ponytail and we put you in the skirt late then would be mind you that's why i'm pretty sure you have not yet came out to mom and dad right i haven't like mind you like when we were younger like our dad will spoil the crap out of you and when me and her used to have like cool up practices with our with friends and stuff and Layton would be because Layton was raised by all Girl. girls and my daughter's his cousins his boys, age so. are all girls there's just like a number of them that are dudes but most of them are can, all girls with, yeah the number that you can count with the cousins i was raised with that were dudes you can literally count it with like one hand right um but you know so the other like, dudes aren't we, gay <laughs> <laughs> they are no they're oh, not they're not they're not gay but with him like we took him everywhere what we did he watched and he followed so we were we were not surprised that he was gonna grow up gay i remember when, when we, he came out he was gonna he was crying and i was like we knew you were gay before you knew you were gay yeah, so. like, <laughs> shut up i know i wanted to be so it was like i thought it was so, gonna be like those lifetime movies like mom you guys i'm gay get the fuck out of my house no but you're like i didn't know that he was literally like guys i'm gay and we we're just like okay so what are we gonna have for dinner i was scared with curtis curtis scared when i told him when i was going to i was scared did you tell him first before you told us no uh, the first person i told was my friends no like sibling wise sibling wise i told I didn't even tell you guys. Someone else. Someone else told y'all. Yeah, well, we already knew. Yeah, I don't know. It's just anxiety. Yeah. I'm the most anxious. We're islanders. Son of a we bitch. don't get anxiety. I'm just <laughs> I hate that mentality. I'm islander and I have fucking anxiety about anything. I don't. First day at work, anxiety. No. Going back to an old cousin's house I've been seeing since childhood, anxiety why no. i don't know i just feel like you know I, uh, what you said marconis are fucking judgmental they are do. and so they can be like oh my god that's why you don't matter. give a fuck don't. i don't give a fuck to a point i and never give a fuck like if i try to look if i try my best to look cute no i don't care like i put my hair up and everything and like no one wants to say hi to me that's what so is my gay doing to my child that's Your my child. child i mean yeah. she left her for like a whole half day Oh, I didn't. You're a whole day. Bad. A whole day. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, here's a question for Lele. Leonie Rose. It's about your pregnancy. What was your pregnancy journey? Oh my gosh. And that was the, the worst the- shit in my life. <laughs> 10 out of 10. Don't recommend. <laughs> um, you and want plus- babies? No, they poop. Did you know that? <laughs> I've never caught. Like, I love women. I do. But I will never catch his poop 
in my hand i faced this one time she was having a hard time pooping she, had, she was constipated and i was like come on my book i was telling her to poop i caught that shit in my hand i was like damn i i love this kid so much i catch her <laughs> shit i'm so proud of you and i let her pee and i had to clean yeah, her hand so no like, like oh. she like peed on the floor like i was like ew sharon come know. clean this up now i'm just like oh my god i can't believe i'm doing this but you know that's my child um yeah and your book growing up you're like you're you weren't very touchy yeah i'm still not touchy only with only with vaya which i'm very Uh, surprised only with her my pregnancy journey like from the start to the end or like in the middle and at the end you can just talk about like talk about your brief talk about your pregnancy um journey you being you know pacific islander and also being the youngest girl oh my gosh okay i was very spoiled by my dad even though he was like the number one person i freaking hated when i was pregnant i would be like dad don't talk to me and then he goes are you hungry i'm like yeah and then he goes okay mom go make this i'm like great and i just leave but i really hated curtis like he was he would get on my nerves i hated him so much i don't know why he just got on my nerves when i was pregnant with him but you know my baby doesn't like him so i think how do i put it in perspective i think because i was the youngest i got spoiled more than with janelle but then but then again janelle when she was pregnant she wasn't even here yeah but like but she still got spoiled because but she didn't get as spoiled as to the point because me like i didn't have to worry about her um what's that thing called her crib her car seat uh, the clothes like her first clothes i didn't have to i didn't have to worry about that her bed being changed mom like you know her laundry my mom mom my mom mom and them would go wash it um anything new like if th- something that i wanted her to have i didn't have to worry about it because i would just tell dad and he'll go get it but like when i was hungry when i was pregnant with they i like mom was like okay you got to eat this 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 even to the point that i would cry that i don't want to eat it and she'll just get me what i want so being pregnant a, is great but giving birth is not <laughs> giving birth was the worst experience i've ever had in my life oh we talk about because you know you guys talk about the pregnancy like how they give birth back in the islands you guys talk about that um i compared to the ones in america i know what i heard that in the islands they don't give you any kind of medicine epidural yeah they don't give you any i think so it's like all natural probably not it has to be all natural because well like what you said islanders are especially islander women they're very judgmental like you have to and you you can't have your parents in there you can't have your mom in there you can't have your husband in there you literally have to sit there by yourself giving birth you can't scream you can't do nothing but and why? also about islanders why yeah why why they can't scream be, it shows that you're like you're if you're giving birth woman. and you're screaming or you're like that's showing the upon. pain yeah. that's a that's a weakness yeah that's like, and they they make fun of you mm-hmm. so like if you have a c-section i had a c-section with vea there's nothing wrong with getting a c-section that's okay. something that they like so they like a lot because yeah. they like what our mom says what well, she says it like mom, mom told me when i was about to give birth that i need to stay strong and i need to give i need to give birth naturally no medicine no nothing mind you i did not know she already told them i'm not getting no epidural for real and i literally made it right to 10 and i was pushing her out and they she didn't want to come out and there was something wrong now they're like we need to give you a c-section so it was like a no choice like yeah, yeah. but like that's all my condition woman and also because basically in like gen z words if they for- say that it's a uh, right like you're you're a woman you're a woman now like you can give birth to a kid right. but there's nothing wrong with giving right. getting a c-section and also and also basically is the micronesian like the woman they basically say like if you if you can go around like with dick in your fucking vagina then you can push out a baby if you can lay down if and you make your baby your, you have to yeah. give birth to if you can baby. make right. the baby you better know how to push it out yeah. that's kind of toxic the thing that because i've i've 
I've asked like fob women like how did you give birth back home because you know they said that it's like especially with their first kid when you when you have your first kid you're gonna want your mom there right. they she like they couldn't have their mom in there their husband has to stay outside everyone had to stay outside and you know how like they push you in with a wheelchair no Bombay they push you in there but you have to walk to get dilated oh, oh that's weird because in America don't they make you rest yeah they make you rest yeah but you can't have anything to eat or anything then I had to eat ice cubes um, I hear my kid crying yeah. in the back. My Go little on. C-section baby. <laughs> um, Go on. Go on one. I lost my train of thought. Uh, we probably need to go out with the next question. Hi. Hi. Let's go. Let's go. I got go. What? God, you're going to ruin this interview. Hi. She's literally been around the house. Looking for us? Don't move it. <laughs> She's probably gonna She's turn it off. Watch. There's <laughs> Thea. <laughs> That's my daughter. <laughs> Speaking of a C section baby. That's my C section baby. <laughs> oh, you're so cute. Yeah. Okay, yeah. get out of the shop. <laughs> you wanna come see here? Come see here. Oh. Go sit next sleep then. Get okay, out. you need to get out of the way. Okay, Maggie, take her. <laughs> oh, we're almost done. Yeah, we have like two more questions. Left. No more. We're done. Bye. 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 What else was I talking about? Oh, she's crying. I think that's it. That's it. I think the Pacific Islander women in general. I'm calling out all you fob women. Stop judging the Micronesian whitewashed out here. Because America, let me tell you, because when I had my C-section, I think the only reason why they don't want you to get a C-section for Mid Bombay Hi. is Hi. <laughs> put her in the room. She's still crying. It's okay. Okay. <laughs> Gosh, now I forgot what I was talking about. Oh, the only reason why they don't want their daughters to, or like them themselves to get a C-section is because you can't get rid of that belly fat. Mm -hmm. Like you can't get skinny. But that's a lie because I'm skinny as hell. <laughs> lost that baby fat. And Where? I'm rocking it. And I don't even look like I have a kid. I have a kid. Her. Me. Next. Okay. So both of you guys... I've moved out. You guys are both married. You guys live together. Micronesia of, married. Yeah, Micronesia married. And how does it feel like to move out of mom and dad's house? Great. I love it. I miss my mom a lot. Um, it t Me being by myself taught me to be independent a lot. Because I was dependent on Sharon yeah. or mom. Because I didn't know how to cook. Right. Like embarrassing, but who gives a fuck? Okay. Um, but I did. I liked my own space because I didn't have anybody yelling at me twenty four seven just to do something. Um, <laughs> the hair fan in the back. <laughs> I don't know. I just me. I honestly like being alone. Mm -hmm. Like I like my own space. But there was like. I miss the number one thing. I always miss my mom because I was that was like my best friend. Mm. Sorry. And there was like six of us in the house, so we barely got many. And then I get because I was the one that was always in the living room. Okay. How about you, Sharon? Uh -huh. How about you, Sharon? What? How do you feel moving out of mom and dad's house? I feel great, but sometimes I get depressed. She gets lonely. I get lonely. Why? You Cause she's so used to because she's told me she's, she's so yeah. used to every the, the house being loud oh yeah. yeah so she's so used to somebody being there so. yeah and i'm so used to like if i go grocery shopping or every time i go out to get me something i always have to be like oh who's at the house i'll buy this 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 That's for this true. person this person like i can't get it out of my head like even with me and Devin, if we go somewhere to eat I'd be like, okay, should we get the others? And he'd be like, right, no, right, no, that was he, me. That was me. he like, no, they I they don't. probably don't want what you what you're eating. No, because when I moved out in the apartment, like 
And when me and me, me and Pimba went to go shop, like I would get, because you know how we always get like what the big pack of soda. Yeah. And I was always buy either multiple if we I got the small ones, because he goes, oh, we don't need all of that. It's just the two of us. Right. I'm like oh, yeah. I forgot. Yeah, like when we go to Costco, like she will go to Walmart and you know, but me, like I, I always have to be like, oh, let me go to Costco, get like six cases of waters three cases of sodas go to restaurant depot and get like two cases of chicken just to feed everybody in this house that's true and like i get to be honest i get lonely because i don't have a kid or i had if i have like a dog or something maybe i'll (laughs) see like (laughs) she's so used to people being so she's so used to like having a bunch of people around and a bunch of things to do and i'm not the type of person that like i don't want all these people around i want to be alone like, like i want to be a dead was silent leoni that doesn't do anything like yeah. doesn't even think about doing anything I'm the life of the party i don't i don't know what i would do with myself like as soon as Sleep. i get off work and i get here i'd be like let me make make sure there's rice let oh, no, me make I don't sure do like oh, no. there's something to eat like even if devin's off i still have to worry about what her her husband or our roommates are gonna yeah. come right. and eat because i'm That's not their just, mom that I'm not I, their mom, but I'm not cooking for anybody but my child. Let me let me try that mentality because if she asks, Sharon, what I'm are we, get what are we eating you today? I'm you're like, gonna, you're I'm gonna not make, your mom. <laughs> you are. You are my mom. Shut up, please. You're really my mom. That's probably <laughs> why you have me, a great, responsible adult. No, for real. You raised me more than mom and dad. She raised me first. She, I was girl, like please. a parent when I was like, what? But I lost her. Ten. You had her until high school and college. I lost her. I, I lost her in, in high, high school, school because she didn't want to deal with my bullshit anymore. So, but you still live with rebelled, her. I rebelled against her so many times that oh she God, beat remember, my ass. I remember when she moved out. Oh my God, that she I was so sad. Making me sound like a bad person. Anyways, I next was question. So sad that was when sad. she moved out. What? We all were sad. Really? When I, when I helped Only you. Because who's Shut gonna up! Cook? You guys are such liars. You're yeah, gonna cry. We, no, I see tears. I'm tired. Views, views. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I remember. I thought you guys wouldn't care. Like, oh yeah, she's no. Like, remember, you were just like, Nathan, no, help I me. I feel like no one gave a shit when I moved out. <laughs> we knew no. we were gonna move out because you said it to mom and dad. Like, oh, fuck yeah. this place. I'm gonna move out. But Sharon, she like, she just disappeared. Yeah, she's I a runaway. To, I remember you told me to help you, and I was over there like, oh my god. She was a you? runaway. You know. With the way that I moved out, I had to move out the way I moved out. Yeah. The way that I moved out, I had to move out that way yeah. because there was so many problems. There's it was it was hard. Everything was hard for me. Like everything I had to do, it was so freaking hard. That's why I'm saying like when when I when I when I moved out, I, it feels great. Like I can you know, but so they bothered me with you know calling me doing this come up and do this but then also like because i was so used to doing things and checking if everybody's all right or and everyone's in line it when i'm alone it gets it's so depressing it's like like sometimes i come home and i'm like okay let me sleep and i'll sleep for five minutes wake up because i'm so used to just taking five minute naps yeah no i take like an hour yeah. nap just because that's that older sister cares about you. But like that older how come her story fucking sounds sad mine sounds like what? i'm late i'm a lazy ass you are you are <laughs> but i don't want people to think that i am she is but Although, i'm like, fun that's the, just that like older sister mentality I'm an older mm-hmm. sister. I thought you guys would but be But you're like, an older sister for only like two of us. She's the older sister of all of us. That's her problem. Nobody told you to be born first. <laughs> okay, I told Lincoln and Rose to meet up and just make me. But right. see, like, she makes me sound like, oh my god, I don't do shit. But like, I do. <laughs> <laughs> she wish I she do. does. Actually, I know, I don't. Because without Sharon, Sharon was the one that she's like the peacemaker kind of person me i will beat they ass if they fucking piss me off on a random day oh help me us yeah Yeah. it was because you just left me with them i was like man you guys don't piss me off but like i was the one that was stuck with when you left i was the one that was stuck with i'm hungry like can you make something seriously i was like um but mom was there yeah but she was working i was there too no she just cleaned 
but i was there like what are we gonna eat and i was the one like okay let me spoil them because sharon was a loser and didn't spoil shit so i, I bought pizza and all that i shit. remember this one time because i don't because you know i love chicken boy soyo and I'd always ask you to make it. And when you moved out, I asked her to make it one time and I ate it. I was like, is that is why <laughs> I don't like boy soil because I don't know how to make it. I was like, great, I don't forget. It was very billet. <laughs> it was very, very billet. <laughs> Till this day, I will not make that shit. She was, I just I don't like that it. Day. She was so short tempered. I was like, Lee, this doesn't do like shit. She was like, then why the fuck are you eating? <laughs> yeah, I had like, when you left me, I got more angry. <laughs> I, that sounds bad when you moved out i was like you guys can't do this shit by yourself right because you taught me to be like you can do this just right. do it like this they but only me, gave me my anxiety in my teenage years <laughs> but i was like you can't do this shit by yourself you're grown as hell and i was what 14 yeah i was never like that to her no her and she's Curtis. lying because in elementary school <laughs> Mom and dad, they got, they got in a big-ass fight because of me. And then this bitch freaking beat my ass to do laundry. And I was like, what? In fourth grade? <laughs> oh, there's a reason why I do And I was over there, like, crying. And she goes, separate the whites from the color. Like, now, she didn't learn that lesson because now she'll just put the whole laundry inside the freaking washer. Because she's not the boss she, of me. <laughs> she my mom doesn't is still alive. <laughs> it pisses me not off. For, like, Leonie, she just, like, she... Like, I remember I was, like, I was getting my first day ID because I was doing my first job. And then, you know, Dad, I swear to God, he has kids just to have kids. You know what I mean? Like, he, he doesn't know any... Just to lucky. Yeah, like, he doesn't know any of our birthdays. <laughs> like, because I, I think one time I was just like, Dad, was my birthday? And he was just like, you're the one that's, like, you're the one that's <laughs> November 3rd? And that's Leonie's birthday. Like, what year? I was like... Christian 98 I was like you have you only have four kids <laughs> and then Le- 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 I was just like why are you dressing dad do your you have to memorize she, she told yeah, me she was like see, memorize because if I didn't security. yell at him for it he wouldn't memorize shit the only person that I didn't get that shit through his head was Curtis, Curtis. now I memorize I'd be like I memorize everything now I know all of your guys' passwords to every Hulu we need Netflix. to change it um do you yep. know my pin number to my debit card yeah. Yeah. What is it? Uh, bleep 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 bleep. <laughs> <laughs> I know it. Um, Victor's. <laughs> oh yeah, that's true. I know Victor's. I know Curtis's. I know Mom's. I know Dad's. Yeah, because Leon was like, if you don't remember your social security card by head, you're, you're fucking an stupid. idiot. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, I didn't say it like. Yeah, that. you did. You freaking meanie. But see, like Sharon was like, "Here, just do you have to remember this?" I'm like, "Okay." And, and when, when I, I came, would, when you pass that down, if, are you fucking serious? You can't remember this <laughs> shit. Like you are a fucking dumbass. When I was learning how to drive, like you would be like, "That was too much of a wide turn." But with Leonie, she's like, "You see that turn you just? You, you see that turn? T- <laughs> you could have killed someone." I'm just like, "That is true." You don't like this <laughs> that much. is true. That's why <laughs> Curtis likes driving with me, and Nathan doesn't. <laughs> But see, when I was driving, Sharon would be like grabbing the wheel. She, yeah, she does that. She she, she gives grabbed me tips. the wheel. No, she did not do that shit to me. I wanted to punch her in the face, and I was like, "What the fuck are you doing?" <laughs> she gives me tips. She was like, "Okay, so you know how you wide turn? Like, here's a here's a way." And she showed me the way. And I was like, "You see the way that you fucking turn? You would have killed someone. Like, you see how you parked? You would have hit a car already." She's like, "Stop the car! Stop the car!" Like, then stop the car. <laughs> this is where I'm scared of you, girl. I'm scared of all of them, but like me, I'm scared of all, both of you. But like you are like whole another. Like, I think I'm an anger man. She would make you. Sharon would make me cry. You Why? would. You would make me stop your lies. Your words hurt, bro. Oh. No, yours were. Your words hurt. <laughs> wow. Your words hurt. My hurts words. Your hurts words. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fuck it. Fuck this shit. <laughs> No, but like um, when I moved out, I I loved that I moved out. I just hated how I moved out, mm. and I think it was you I, kind of had to. Yeah, and then I also hated the person that I was with when I See, moved out. See, I was out. gangster when I moved out. So, mom, dad, I'm out. But you had no choice. You were pregnant <laughs> as fuck. <laughs> You're gonna cut that out. Right? <laughs> okay. Next. Want to talk about like childhood memories with us? Because you know we're all grown. We all don't live with each other anymore. It's kind of sad. We're old. I don't remember anything. 
What's a one childhood. memory? We can do like a one funny memory. Like a child memory? Either a childhood memory or like memories that you remember when all of us were there. All of us live in, lived at that house. Or lived in a house together. We can go like back to 2000 some or we can go to like 2020, 2000 something. I had a lot of bad memories. That's what I remember. Oh, I have a bad memory that, to me, I think it's funny. <laughs> what is it? You want me to say it? No. Is it about me? It's about all of us. How is it a memory and it's just you? Remember that one time? Remember that one time Dad was yelling at Curtis? And oh, he was yeah. Like, <laughs> That's and not a was, memory bit. That's not a pap- To me, it's funny. That's a traumatic I, thought, I, thought time it I mean, can you get to the story? Because okay. there's no. a lot of times where dad was yelling at okay, Curtis. There's one time, it was a recent, it was during COVID. Dad was yelling at Curtis because he wasn't tying a knot a certain way. And it, <laughs> <laughs> and to the point where it got physical. And then, you know, Leon and Curtis, you know, they were like, there yeah. it is. And it came out, she was just like, yeah, that's wrong. <laughs> And then mom came out like, why are you joining in? Like, like this is not be- between you. And then Leon was over there, you know. Like, Leon and dad, they don't match. So Leon was we like, don't. cussing at dad. And then mom was like, grab Leon, put her into a room. She started whipping her ass. And then me and you, I came out of my room and you came out of somewhere. And you're like, yin ta wrong. And then like, she was over there like, pulling Leonie's hair. <laughs> <laughs> like that shit was cr- and then she was pulling on his hair and then you were like yin like damo damo and then she she was beating her i don't know what she was beating you with she was beating this back scratcher mm, i felt like it was a spatula or something i think it was a spatula because like I like the know. wooden spatula and mm-hmm. then leona was you were just like yin that wrong and then mom just came up to you and smacked you in the head that and then was, she slapped you yeah and then she went she was like not way ben i let night and then she went to go to the kitchen to get the knife. And I went there. I was like, Yin, like, got there. She caught the knife and she smacked me with the knife. <laughs> Over Curtis's uh, dumb ass. Not learning how to like, tie that freaking knife. Like, that's right funny, like, a part of me is just like, are we really that bad of kids that we all got hit at the same time? <laughs> all because of Curtis. All because of Curtis. I was protecting him. I was protected One thing all that I, I hate when people do, and I think a lot of people do know by now, like especially like uncles and aunts, like uh, you know how like they can hit you know their nieces and nephews. Like, don't do not come f- for my siblings. Right. Do not lay. Hit yeah, finger. no one can do. No one can hit my child unless it's your my sibling and my. Husband. No one can hit my nieces and nephews, but me and their parents. I would love like, to hit my niece. When, when I was grow like growing up, like cause I yamba and gumalta, like I hate it when people like try to like hit you guys, especially you are late then. Like I get so freaking pissed off. Like that's the ugly side that comes out. Me? No. You said you were late then. I mean you and Curtis. Really? There's so, you much, Curtis? so many. I know the one uncle who like caused my, you know, like him growing up was like I have to be straight or you know, right yeah. you know who I'm talking about yeah but look at him now karma's Toothless. a bitch Toothless. wait who oh <laughs> karma's a big fucking bitch um a memory oh yeah I said mine it, was, it wasn't really funny but you know it's kind of an experience um I remember when I found out I was pregnant we were all there the first person I shared it to was you me but <laughs> The first thing that Curtis, I wasn't there. I was at we were work. There. Oh, you just no. texted me, yeah. and I was with you. Yeah, like that was in the bathroom with me. And then Curtis, all he said was like, "Damn, Dad's gonna beat your ass." I was like, "Oh my gosh, why did you say that?" Now See, I'm that's. Me. I feel like that's how we became so close. Us being traumatic together, <laughs> traumatized together. That's really bad. <laughs> um, a memory. I, think we need help. <laughs> I have a memory. What? How come I can't remember anything? She probably be like, I remember when Leonie, you know, she was No, naked. I had a memory, like, when I first got my license, I would take them everywhere. Take them? We, yes, all of us. And what was one of the places I was, like, that was new and open in town um, was Minchie's. Oh! <laughs> oh. 
I, I don't like and, that place. I love and that place. The first time it ever had their grand opening, I took all three of them. And I remember, like, it was like. <laughs> It was like, you know, taking kids into, like, a candy store. Because we don't eat that shit. Yeah, and then, you know, like, like I, yogurt? mind what you, is like, this is just ice cream. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> Which I saw. <laughs> mind you, like, we've never, I've never been there, so I just, ta- like, take them along because, you know, we'll all have that first time she experience. She wants us all to be sarodi together. Right. And I just got my license, and I had a job, and, uh, you know, they're my siblings. They were younger than me, so I took all of them. Leonie was always the, my passenger. Yes. Curtis and Leda was always sitting in the, in the back. back, and we would always blast the music yep. on our way. And me and Leonie would always agree to where we're going. Like we don't give a fuck about what they <laughs> think, what they want, what they think. And that, that, the passenger seat was like my seat. Like if Leda and Curtis was in it, I'm like, get the fuck out of my <laughs> and seat. And then Leonie would use that fucking shit. She was like, you don't see the sign, the caution sign on the. Oh yeah. The, I would, Tell like, She's like, it says 12, or 12 and under cannot sit in this. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I went, I brought them to Minchie's. I brought you guys to Min- Minchie's when it first opened in town. And um, I was asking, you know, I was asking the the cashier, like, how does this work? Like, do we just put ice cream? Like, what's the pricing? I don't want to, like, have them, like, get a whole bunch of... Um, Random shit. Yeah, and then it's, like, over our budget or right. over how much I have. And I was just standing there, you know, trying to, like, you know, get information. And you see, because they'll, they'll have, like, a platter with empty cups, like empty Dixie small cups. cups on top of no, the to where you can, you can kind of, like, try each taste. Mind you, like... Th- you know, there because it was packed that day. Was it packed that day? No, I, don't I think know. it was just uh, us. And it was like a whole bunch of you know, like I was so like focused in trying to find out like what the, you know how it works that I forgot that I had them with me. And all you can hear is like the when we went in, there was a whole like the platter was like full with empty small little empty cups. I turned around. It was like halfway done, and each of them were trying each freaking <laughs> for each freaking ice cream they want. And then you have Curtis over here, like, 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 oh, I want this one. This one tastes good. I want, you know, I want to go get the toppings. Like Curtis, if you know Curtis, you just know. Yeah. And then you have Leonie where she's like, oh, I want something chocolate. I want something coffee. I, like, yeah. She was that little brat. And I you have wanted everything then. in chocolate. I just did vanilla. I remember what I got. I got vanilla and I just put a bunch of shit on it. All right. And then you have Layton that, you know, always is always asking can you help me do this can you help me do this and then he'll come to me and be like Sharon Leona just want to help me do this Sharon Curtis is wanting Sharon can you help me do this like <sighs> keep in mind we have like cause you guys you Curtis and you two and Curtis you guys are close in age like you and Leona are how, you, how many years or five years apart cause uh-huh. five, and me and Curtis and, look, how, how old is Curtis 20? 25 he's 25 and I'm 18 so like at that time you guys you were in high school Curtis was in high school. Or he was in middle school. Oh. I think you were in high school. Like, you were a freshman. Curtis was yeah. in middle school. And I was still in, like, what, third grade? Yeah. You were? Yeah. See, yeah. The, so, it, don't act... <laughs> please don't think I was, like, what, 12 or 16 <laughs> acting like that. <laughs> he looked like he was 12 or 16. <laughs> Anyways, continue with this story. But, yeah, it was just... I think that that's the, you know... You know, we got our ice creams... We waited because it was by ounces. We How? waited. Oh, keep going, sorry. We waited. They got like all the freaking topping that they had available. Each one of them had all the freaking topping that, that was in there. When we went to weigh it, paid it. And then you hear, you know, them eating it. In, like, we sat somewhere, right? Yeah. We sat somewhere and we like ate it. And then you hear Curtis always trying to pick on Lathan. And then always, Leonie always agreeing to Curtis. And they're just high fiving. And I just have mom. to be like the mother of. Like, como esta? Yeah. <laughs> Y'all hated me for no I it, don't no have man. a memory at all. That's a good memory. Do you even dream when you go to sleep? You do. I do. She's a psychic. 
No, I'm not. <laughs> That's so lame. I don't remember. I don't have any good memories. Not good. Not, I, I have memories. I just can't remember them. All with all of us in it because there's always somebody missing. Uh, How about when we... Do you um, have a... Do you have a... Um, memory of Delma because she wants to be she feels very very oh, Delma's my work buddy she wanted me to say yeah. that <laughs> what's like your favorite memory oh my favorite memory oh my no shut up my turn my favorite memory of Fuck. Delma see you can tell she's the second um, black sheep damn it I forgot damn oh no the memory of Delma was this one day I was just we were working and i was just minding my own business looking off the space because i daydream a lot and this bitch she's over here singing coming to me and she goes fix your face i'm like I, i'm not even Bro, looking at you bitch I hate she, when she, says that shit. she goes why are you frowning what's wrong with you i was like nothing i'm literally waiting you know at work and they do changeovers and let me get a changeover so i was waiting and she goes fix your face i'm like bitch i'm not even talking to you <laughs> damn <laughs> I just love Dawn. She's, She's just funny. Yeah, she just brings a whole other. I think so, um, a memory that I will never forget. Of Dalma? Of Dalma as long as she was with us. And she, one summer she was like with us for like a straight week. They the were, her and Layton Le- Le- were like young. And mom and dad. <gasps> no, I have one. I've never told this. You had your turn. Shut, Shut up. Wait, finish. I want to. Okay, fine, go anyways one summer she was with us for like a straight week and that summer is the summer that Lathan oh my fell god stop i don't want to talk about this <laughs> no stop mine's better because i have not told uh an i adult. wasn't even finished with mine but yours is boring it's traumatic it's not a good memory no i don't want to know me and Dem almost passed out okay don't ever bring that memory up ever again passed out where oh, when, he, oh, when his knee got what? cut open no, no but the funniest part is she when he was in the hospital at the children's, the children's hospital because his whole freaking knee like was hanging off of his bone because he cut it open and they turned around and i'm like they used to i brought her and uh leoni with me and i was like you guys you know i need water and then they were like oh, pissed off at Nathan. and then Delma tells me the story like how she went to see because you can go only go see uh one person like one by one to go see him in the back and she said that she <laughs> she answered she was like crying she was <laughs> she my real bitch for real <laughs> and then she came out and she was like guys i was literally crying like I don't know where she gets those tears from, but <laughs> that's the only time I saw. Tears. That was the only time I saw her cry. <laughs> like I, when they were washing my feet, my feet, my knee, because it was cut open. Like it was, they're washing it and they didn't put any numbing cream, but that shit hurt. And I was like, you know, I was like crying. And then <laughs> I see her. She was like facing the TV, cupping her ears. And <laughs> she told me that she was crying. <laughs> Like, like, just Delma, where do you get your tears from? Like, where when I tell you uh, why I'm scared of Leoni, when I fell, like blood was gushing. Leoni was cussing me out. She was like, "You're so fucking stupid." So a man who can talk about When he went into the hospital, everyone, I started crying. Not because he was hurt, because mom was in the room, and then in Bombay, she was like, "Me pan la jenny mo and I was over there like, "Oh my god!" And the doctor was like, "It's okay, he's gonna be okay." I was like, "I don't give a fuck about him. Like, I'm getting my ass beat because of this child." <laughs> like, can you call child services? <laughs> no, but my memory with Delma that I never told anybody. It was me, Delma, Ashley, and Layton. We're all, it was like one summer, and like that was when the Ford was still there you guys went somewhere and i was like are you guys hungry and mind you i was the oldest and i was supposed to watch them and they're like yeah it's like, okay let's go to the gas station that's when the ford like it was if you turn it off it can't turn it back on so i was over there like i got money i was like you guys can run in there i'm gonna leave the car on and you guys just run back in man we got a bunch of snacks we got and i had still this day i've not told anybody I what happened demo was the passenger they then actually was in the bag and i was like you guys run in there mind you the car was already fucked up like i couldn't reach i didn't know how to drive okay i just like it's like fuck it i'm gonna learn how to do this i was on the road with a bunch of kids 
And I decided to, you know, risk let's just lives. risk our lives today. <laughs> you really moved the car? I moved the I car to the station. I don't remember that. You don't? I don't. Oh, my God. I will never forget because like, you see these three little How fat was kids I? going into, I don't know. Were you still in school? I was still in school. So you drove to where? Thornton's? Yeah. And then? And then I was like, you guys hurry up and go get it. I was like, I'm not going to turn off the car because if I turn it off, it won't turn back on. They're like, okay. So you see Delma just running in there. She goes, we need a couple cents. I would throw the thing in there. <laughs> Mind you, I didn't know how to park at that time. So where did you park? She was. Oh, I parked in the front, but like my foot was on brake. I didn't know how to park. Like I didn't know you can, you know. But it wasn't like the. It was like this. So how did you reverse? I don't know nope. how to reverse. You didn't have to reverse to go out of Thornton's. So you to me to tell me she, she went in like you this just stopped, the, the and then she did this freaking lies uh, right uh, here and you just stop so they can enter until the store. Day, that's what. No, it was not in the middle of the night. Oh, was it? It was like during the day. Oh, then I. I don't have don't no like idea this. where the hell everybody was, but I decided let me just take all these kids because I'm hungry. I know she they're hungry. Was grown. And I was like, How we go to the I don't know. How old were they? Where we going? I wonder no, if Delma and Ashley, Ashley were. They probably she- don't. But that was the thing that I will never forget. Because Delma doesn't forget that, anything. Because I kept that with me, and I've not told anybody. Mm. No wonder why get God gave you a daughter. <laughs> No, also dumb was the one, cause you know dumb. I heard that like she'd be yelling at all, like other the other cousins that are younger than her. But dumb was never yelled at me. Like she's never been like, like if you say that shit more like I'm you guys slap argue me. a lot. Yeah, but you know, growing up, she never told me like me me banka me yeah or something. Oh, she never did that. I wonder why. Maybe she <laughs> liked me deep down. <laughs> Maybe she was like, oh my god, he's going to be my bestie. Oh my gosh, then. All right, next that question. All? Oh, that's all. Oh, wow. What Close a good podcast. What, what, so what? what's our call to action? What's the summary of us being siblings? What do you mean? Like, I don't know. Siblings that are traumatic together stay together. Her, I love that. <laughs> You're yeah. so weird. My leg is, my leg, my foot is itchy. Okay, that's random. Anyways, don't forget to. Are we gonna use the clap button? Oh, you yeah, you can use. You can. I'm fucking funny. <laughs> Did you guys hear about that? Oh my god. Hi. I just want to go to the room where I recommend it. <laughs> Sharon's fat. <laughs> <laughs> my turn, my turn, my turn. No. You're gonna press it. Oh, which one? Ready? Is it, is it this one? The last one? The yeah. T- yeah, go. Go. Leonie's ugly. Boo. <laughs> <laughs> this okay. is so fun. Wait, say something funny. Say something that's like, you know, words. Um, words that of the me- wild. Yeah. Uh, for a pause. Um, a Little Mermaid is a great movie. It's a great movie. Yes, a Little Mermaid is great. Mm-hmm. Don't watch it. In theaters, no. Uh, pretend that's... Right. <laughs> say something funny. You have to say it and then press the button. Okay, say something funny. You say something funny. Sharon's funny looking. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel, Specific Talks. Listen to our podcast on Spotify and Apple Music. And don't forget to follow us in our socials down below. And I'm going to put theirs. Um, so, I'm please married, so please don't, don't me. follow me. Um, My husband is something else. <laughs> Anyways, if you guys want us to talk about other shit, other fun topics, you can DM, you can DM us. You can DM me. You can DM the other people. Don't the DM me. Description. Yeah. We'll see you guys in the, the next one. Bye. Wait, let's let's give a round of applause to my sisters for coming. Yes. <laughs> you guys are okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bye guys. Bye. Do I stop over here? No. I want to do something. Oh. 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 Oh.